They're all a little weird, but you know, we like to think there's someone weirder. You know? I'm sure some of you are looking at me going, well, at least I'm not as weird as Gaff again. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, well, at least I'm not as weird as those people in the loony bin. And the people in the loony bin are going, well, at least I'm an orange. <laughs> hey, I like oranges. <laughs> We're getting lazier. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, I want delivery and I'm going to need someone to feed me. No, no, I'll be in the tub. <laughs> yeah, key is under the mat. Chip, chop, chip. Chip, chop, chip. I don't even know what chip, chop, chip is supposed to mean. I'm not good at ordering delivery. I always think I'm ready. I never am. I always get that order panic. Delivery, what do you want? Oh, 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 you got food there? Yes, we have food. What do you want? Uh, 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 let me write it down. I'll call you back. Uh, I wasn't ready for the trick questions. It's exciting when that delivery guy arrives, isn't it? It's like Santa coming to your house. He's here. He's here. The guy's here. What do we do? What do we do? But we don't treat him like Santa. We treat the situation like it's a hostage exchange. <laughs> but well, you're a weirdo. You wait out there. Here's the deal, I'll give you the money, you hand over the food, then I want you to back away slowly. I don't need you casing the joint. That's ridiculous. Here's something fun to do next time you get delivery. Treat the delivery guy like he's your waiter. Be like, hey, thanks a lot. Can you do something about the music in here? And I can go for some more ice water. That's weird. Never know what to do with all those condiment packets they give you when you get delivery. They give you like 50 ketchups. Such a waste. My wife's always like, save them. It's not like you can go up to a homeless guy. In case you get that food you're looking for, here's some ketchup. <laughs> I'm looking out for you, buddy. <laughs> I love our holiday traditions, like the Christmas tree, where we go out and we chop down a tree and we put it in our living room. Kind of sounds like the behavior of a drunk man, really. <laughs> some woman wakes up. Honey, why is there a tree in our living room. I like it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna decorate it for Jesus. Uh, and then I'm gonna hang my socks over the fireplace. Fill them with candy. Maybe I'll tie some leaves to the ceiling, see if I can get some action. But now I gotta puke on that couch. Merry Christmas. Some people get so into Christmas, they decorate their yards. It seems completely backwards. All right, chop down that tree, bring it in here. Take all these lights, put them out there. Oh, I just gotta, I really gotta get a job. He's anti-Christmas. Easter, that's a weird tradition. Easter, the day Jesus rose from the dead, what should we do? How about eggs? <laughs> well, well, what does that have to do with Jesus? All right, we'll hide them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't follow your logic. Don't worry, there's a bunny. It's ridiculous. Thanksgiving, you know. Thanksgiving, it's like we didn't even try to come up with a tradition. The tradition is we overeat. Hey, how about Thanksgiving we just uh, eat a lot? We do that every day. Oh, um, what if we eat a lot with people that annoy the hell out of us? Oh, he's anti-family. <laughs> Most of we use holidays so we can eat more. You know? I normally don't have a burger, a brat, and a steak, but... It is 4th of July. <laughs> and uh, I need the energy if I'm going to start blowing crap up. <laughs> that's what the founding fathers would want. <laughs> My favorite holiday is Halloween, and not just because women use it as an excuse to dress like prostitutes. <laughs> uh, you ladies totally do. I'm a witch if she was a hooker. <laughs> I'm Little Miss Muffet. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Hey, that almost sounded dirty, fella. 
As a kid, Halloween was amazing. You dress like a superhero, you bang on your neighbor's door, and they give you candy. I do that today, my neighbor wants me arrested. <laughs> Probably because I make a hot cat woman. <laughs> Kitty wants some candy. <laughs> Remember that from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? <laughs> and they wonder why we do drugs. Oh, that was negative. How about those traditions, fellow? Why don't you go back to that? Valentine's Day, the tradition is we give each other those big red hearts filled with the gamble chocolate. Have you ever eaten any chocolate of those big red hearts with any confidence? Mm -hmm. Well, this could either be really good or totally nasty. Yeah, I'm just big enough to find out. Ah, oh, I got the one filled with toothpaste. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna have to eat another nine to get rid of that flavor. There's the big red hearts filled with the gamble chalk out of the tiny chalk heart-shaped antacids. I know I make you nauseous. Here's a Tums with Hug Me written on it. Maybe that'll help. I know nothing about Saint Valentine. I assume he's the patron saint of overpriced greeting cards. That's an odd ritual, really. You know, we go out and we buy cards that already have things written in them. It's like, hmm. Hmm. Hey, that's something I'd say. Just add my name here at the bottom. Hey, mm -hmm. you go! You like what that other guy wrote in there? Took me five seconds to find it. Cost me two bucks. Greeting cards would make sense if there was something profound written in there, but it's always like, happy birthday. can not think of that yourself? I'm not a slogan machine. <laughs> My favorite dessert is cake. Yeah. Cake's a true symbol of gluttony, though. If you eat a whole pizza, people are like, wow, you were hungry. But if you eat a whole cake, people are like, you got a problem. <laughs> Addicted to cake. It's not like drinking. You never hear someone brag, yeah, last night I had four pieces of cake. <laughs> Why are you telling us? Just want you to know I partied. Why don't you get away from me? Because everyone knows cake's bad for us. Sometimes you try and disguise the fact we're eating cake. It's breakfast, I can't have cake. I'll have a muffin. You know the difference between a cake and a muffin? Nothing. A muffin is a bald cupcake. And we know it. Have you seen the mini muffins? How much denial are we in when we're eating mini muffins? Oh, I'm just gonna have like one or 12. <laughs> so small, they don't really count. They're like, they're like muffin vitamins. When I eat them, I feel like an astronaut. That's why I have them for breakfast. Can't have cake for breakfast, unless it's a pancake. How'd that slide through? Young man, you're not having cake for breakfast. You're having fried cake with syrup for breakfast. <laughs> load up on that and try not to nap. <laughs> Pancakes. Pancakes definitely make you lower your expectations. You're like, well, looks like I'm not showering today. <laughs> I'm gonna be digesting those carb cakes for hours. That was a bad idea. This guy talks a lot about cake. Cake's a powerful food. Cake can actually bring people together. It's Bill's birthday. I hate that guy. It's cake in the conference room. Well, I should say hello. <laughs> See how he's doing. I mean, admit it, when you hear the song, Happy Birthday, all you're thinking is, hey, I'm getting some free cake. During the song, you're just wondering what kind it is. Hope it's chocolate for me.
We're all bashful, though, when we're offered a piece, aren't we? We're always like, well, well I guess I'll try it. What's this called, cake? Yeah, I've never had cake before. Mm. Ah. If he does another cake joke, I'm gonna kill him. Okay, let's talk about something besides cake. Pie. That's like liquid cake, isn't it? Mm. Pie can't compete with cake. Though. Put candles in a cake, it's a birthday cake. Put candles in a pie, someone's drunk in the kitchen. Yeah. Go check on grandma. Pie can't compete, yeah. Never hear about a hot chick jumping out of a pie. It's too messy. I'm here. Go take a shower. Cake. There's so many types of cake, too. You know? There's rum cake, which makes sense, you know, because we've all been eating cake and thought, you know what, this needs booze. A shot of liquor. I don't have time to eat and drink. I only got two hands, buddy, and one of them's holding a cigarette. Meet me halfway, will ya? There's funnel cake, which is essentially a giant french fry covered in sugar. They're serving that at the IHOP now. It's a weird name for that place. I've never left there feeling like hopping. It should be called I Barely Move. I need a wheelchair. Hey, buddy, I like the IHOP. And if you don't like it, you don't have to go there. I think the most disappointing cake has to be fruit cake, you know? You'd think that would be better. It doesn't add up. Fruit, good. Cake, great. Fruit cake, nasty crap. <laughs> have you tried fruit cake? I don't even think that's fruit in there. You're like, mm -hmm. what is that, a Skittle? So where's a seed here? What is this, a treasure map? <laughs> what is the recipe of fruitcake? Anything but fruit? It's like the baker was just clearing off the counter. Put all this crap in there. <laughs> Nobody eats this stuff. They just mail it to relatives. I'm moving a little slow tonight. I had a hot pocket for dinner. Uh, uh. Good to see I'm not the only white trash here. <laughs> I buy the Hot Pockets. I go in grocery stores, I'm like, yeah, I'll get these. I've never eaten a Hot Pocket and then afterwards been, I'm glad I ate that. I'm always like, I'm gonna die. I paid for that? Did I eat it or rub it on my face? My back hurts. Ow. I was looking at a box of Hot Pockets. They have a warning printed on the sign. So, warning, you just bought Hot Pockets. <laughs> Hope you're drunk or heading home to a trailer. <laughs> you hillbilly enjoy the next NASCAR event. Hot Pockets. <laughs> I like NASCAR, he's a jerk. Never really see that on a menu when you go out to dinner. You know, let's see, I'll have the Caesar salad and the Hot Pocket. Uh, tonight's specials, we have a sea bass, which is broiled, and we have a Hot Pocket, which is cooked in a dirty microwave. And that comes with a side of Pepto. Is your Hot Pocket cold in the middle? It's frozen. But it can be served boiling lava hot. Will it burn my mouth? It'll destroy your mouth. <laughs> Everything will taste like rubber for a month. All of the Hot Pocket. Hot Pocket! Hot Pockets, yeah. They haven't been around that long, like 10 years. How'd they come up with that? Was there some kind of marketing meeting like, I got an idea. How about we fill a Pop-Tart with nasty meat? And you can cook it in a sleeve thing. You could dunk it in the toilet. It's weird. There is the vegetarian hot pocket for those of us that don't want to eat meat but still would like diarrhea. Hot pocket. It should just come with a roll of toilet paper. Diarrhea pocket.
fuck it. You ever notice there's no dignified way to buy toilet paper? You always have to buy that multi-pack, like 18 rolls, stick it in your cart. Everyone in the store is like, does that guy ever leave the bathroom? What's he living off of Hot Pockets? Hot Pockets. There's the lean pocket. I don't even want to know what's in there. Imagine the directions. Take out of box, place directly in toilet. <laughs> Flush pocket. <laughs> pocket, 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 pocket. Recently, they introduced the breakfast hot pocket. Finally. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to start the day. <laughs> Good morning. You're about to call in sick. Now you can have a hot pocket for breakfast, a hot pocket for lunch, and be dead by dinner. <laughs> dead pocket. Do love that jingle. Yeah. You think they worked hard on that song? What do you got so far, Bill? Uh, uh, hot pocket. That's good. That's very good. Not as good as your buy menin, but it's good. <laughs> now, what are we gonna run in Mexico? Caliente pocket. <laughs> You've got a gift, my friend. <laughs> Don't hide that in a bushel basket. <laughs> a pocket. I saw a commercial for a chicken pot pie hot pocket. Now they're just messing with us. <laughs> Just a matter of time. Have you tried the Hot Pocket, Hot Pocket? It's a Hot Pocket filled with a Hot Pocket. Tastes just like a Hot Pocket. I'm gonna go and stick my head in the microwave. Hot Pocket! He went crazy up there. I didn't know what he was doing at the end there. I thought he was on drugs or something. Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you wanna see more stand-up, I have more stand-up, or if you wanna see an original show, like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show, that's available on my channel. But also, just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.